Hi, I'm Ray Young. I'm an emeritus professor from the University of Wisconsin, and I'm going to be talking about Thessaloniki, a brief history. Uh, I spent a sabbatical year at the Aristotelian University in Thessaloniki, and that is when I learned the, about the complex history of this fascinating city. I've broken my presentation down into uh, s seven different parts, uh, and each part will be one uh, YouTube video. And I'll talk about uh, the Hellenistic area, the Roman occupation, the Byzantine era, era, and Ottoman occupation. Then we'll talk about the arrival of the Sephardic Jews, then a period of turmoil, um, the many wars that happened in Thessaloniki, and then we'll talk about the modern city. Uh, let's get an orientation to where Thessaloniki is. Uh, here's a, a showing of Greece with Athens at the south and Thessaloniki up in the Macedonian area of Greece. Uh, bordering on, the, uh, on Greece in the north is Albania, Macedonia, and Bulgaria, and to the east is Turkey. And of course, you remember that uh, Istanbul was once called Constantinople, and before that it was Byzantium. Um, you can see uh, Thessaloniki sits in the Thermaic Gulf on the Aegean Sea. And it's, uh, it's situated sort of facing southeast, such that it faces directly in to uh, Mount Olympus. And you can see the Olympic range from the city, as I'll show in my slide. Here's the Olympic range across from the upper city, or Anapoli, Anapoli in Thessaloniki. Now Thessaloniki is, oft is often called Salonika in English. Uh, it was founded in 315 BC as a conglomeration of villages and uh, was named after the half-sister of Alexander the Great. And she was also the princess of Macedon. Uh, the, the Thessaloniki was also referred to as the joint queen of cities uh, with uh, between uh, Thessaloniki and uh, Byzantium or Constantinople, and it was named Selenik under the Turkish occupation, New Jerusalem with the arrival of the Sephardic Jews, and then the city of Goth. Uh, I'm, here, I'm showing here a, a depiction of ancient Thessaloniki, and you can see it's, it exists on a large hill or small mountain, so it has a steep incline up to the upper city. In the upper city, there's an Acropolis at the top, and you can see it was a walled city in ancient times. In the lower slide, uh, you can see is a drawing of the city, um, a little more recent, and shown at the bottom right is the depiction of the white tower that was put in in the 15th century for harbor defense by the, uh, by the Turkish Muslims. Okay, this is a, a, a flat map of the city, of course. You don't see this uh, steep terrain, but there's the Acropolis at the top, uh, a Acropolis of seven towers as a protection for the city. Uh, this is during the Roman era. And you can see uh, there's a, a whole slew of monuments, uh, former churches, mosques, and so on in the city, and a variety of Roman ruins, which we'll talk about when we talk about the Roman occupation. So here's the historical areas that I'm going to go through in my series of presentations. The Hellenistic, uh, founded in 315 BC, as I mentioned, the city. And then we'll talk about the Roman era, which was about 500 years. The Byzantine era, which was about 1,000 years. The Ottoman occupation, which was 500 years. And then that period of turmoil, of, of, which was much shorter, but had a profound impact. The Balkan Wars, World War I and II, and of course, the Greeks uh, had a civil war following, their, uh, following the removal of the Nazis in 1945. Uh, this gives you an idea of early Greece uh, in, the, in the 8th to 3rd centuries BC. Uh, Greece colonized major areas of the Mediterranean all the way from the Iberian Peninsula into the Black Sea and uh, down towards uh, Egypt. So it had a, a very expansive uh, set of colonies around the, uh, around the Mediterranean region. Uh, in the Hellas Hellenistic area, of course, encompassed the time that Alexander the Great was uh, uh, in Thessaloniki area in Macedonia. And of course, he went all the way 
uh, into India in his conquests, uh, where he died at 32 years old. Uh, it's important to note that many of these territories which he did occupy uh, late, later were relinquished uh, because there was no uh, follow-up leader to occupy the territories. Okay, uh, for my next presentation, I'll be talking about the Roman occupation of Thessaloniki from 168 BC to 329 AD. And uh, that'll be in my next presentation. Thank you.